Don't listen to the critics. Get off of Twitter. The Mario movie is awesome. If you're worried about Chris Pratt's Mario, don't worry about it. If you're worried about it being a kid's movie, don't. Just shut up and go see the Mario movie. I promise you will find it enjoyable if you are a fan of the iconic plumber. There are some issues with it, some writing that feels a bit off sometimes, and some rushed pacing, but overall it is exactly what you would want out of a Super Mario movie. Fun, nostalgic, exciting, and full of the loving and endearing nature of Nintendo's longest running series. And unlike the one we got before, this Mario movie is truly and unironically enjoyable. Don't worry, I will not be sharing spoilers in this video. I will only be using footage provided from the trailers that are available publicly already. Starting off with the plot, be rest assured that this doesn't feel like a children's movie. This feels like a story you would see straight out of a Mario game. It definitely does not go as deep into the lore as say the Paper Mario or Mario & Luigi RPG games, but it's about on par with what you would see in a typical mainline game of the series. Much respect is paid to aspects of the Mario canon that you may have forgotten about over the years, such as how Mario & Luigi are originally from Brooklyn where they were, in fact, plumbers before arriving in the Mushroom Kingdom. While the movie takes some light liberties with the origins of some characters, nothing that is added to the movie destroys or disrespects their original series counterpart. Everything that has been added are things that have never been given an explanation in the original games that fans have just accepted as being unknown, and what they do add is very surface level and light enough to the point where it's not intrusive. For example, this is not a situation like Uncharted, where Nathan Drake has a completely different origin and relationship with Sully than the Nathan Drake from the games, and nothing feels like the Monster Hunter movie where it's a completely unrelated story with some elements of the source material thrown in. This is a Mario movie through and through, only adding to the source material rather than taking away or some weird sidestep. You will love how they present iconic areas such as the Mushroom Kingdom and certain characters like toads or other creatures like all the various enemies you see throughout the original games. Every new location is usually introduced by a long take going over the entire area, showing how these characters you've come to love over the ages interact with and utilize various things from the game in their world. Toads using coin blocks as ATMs, using warp pipes as their personal transportation system across the Mushroom Kingdom, and various other things that show an appreciation for the series' history. Embracing and celebrating these elements of the Mario world, rather than being embarrassed by them and ignoring them for the sake of the movie. These iconic locations and characters are usually accompanied by various audio cues that will hit you right in the nostalgia. Again, not spoiling anything, but from what you see in the trailers, the first time you were introduced to Peach's Castle, a short rendition of Peach's Castle's theme from Mario 64 plays at just the right moment, and small things like that are spread all throughout the movie that any longtime fan will love. Another thing that longtime fans will love is the various references to Mario and Nintendo's history. I won't share all of them, but if you know your Nintendo history, you will be pleasantly surprised by all of the references that they cram into the movie, especially towards the beginning. The last thing I will say about the story is that everyone's characterization is incredibly well done. If you are worried about how characters that many may think of as being one note, such as Peach or even Mario, will be able to carry a whole movie's plot, don't be. Almost every character has a satisfying arc to them that loops back well. No character feels overbearingly one-dimensional outside of maybe a few small, small side characters. And best of all, what stood out to me was the relationships between the main characters. They are done incredibly well and were probably my favorite part of the movie. In particular, I will say the relationship between Mario and Luigi was very heartwarming and full of that bright family feeling that is present in many of Illumination's projects and very well done. The visuals, as you can tell, are incredible. Every location looks incredibly polished and detailed. 
There are many visual gags that reference the series' history. Again, I don't want to spoil anything, otherwise I'd go into more detail. But to give one small example, there's a moment where someone sits down next to a Koopa shell, and it starts bouncing off of them and the wall next to them, and it makes the sound as if you're doing the 1-up trick from the original Mario Bros. game. Many things like this happen in the background of certain scenes, and it all makes the world feel like it's lived in and has things happening outside of what the main characters are doing. Again, this is also true of the music. Everything sounds incredible. The music cues match up to character entrances. If someone mentions a prominent location or other reference to the main series, usually the music complements it. Jack Black's performance for Peaches, and in general, is of course amazing and hilarious. If you are worried of this becoming a musical in any way, do not worry. This is the only moment in the movie something like this happens, and it only lasts for a few seconds. The only negative I noticed about the movie was that the pacing at moments, mainly in the beginning of the movie, felt rushed at points. The writing in these scenes felt very off, and certain things that should have had more explanation did not have any. I swear, many scenes felt as though they were cut in half, the editing pace being very quick. Certain scenes that felt like they should have been huge had very quick resolutions that were over before you knew it. Again, this was primarily in the beginning, but mark my words, I kept thinking throughout the entire movie that it felt as though this was a theatrical cut. Then, in a few months from now, there will be an extended cut version that will be released for the DVD version or for streaming services. Otherwise, I really don't understand some of the editing and pacing decisions that were made during the beginning. Hmm, Nintendo trying to create incentive to pay twice for the same product? Oh, they would never. However, even this doesn't last long enough to be a true negative, I feel. The movie simply has too many cool moments, great character relations, and just pure fun to view this as anything other than amazing. You will spend the entire time in the theater with wide eyes and a smile on your face as you see these characters and worlds you've grown up with come to life on the big screen in front of you. The Mario movie is not a cinematic masterpiece, sure, but if you were expecting that in the first place, then I don't know what to tell you. If you expected to walk into the theater and see the next up, then you won't find that here either. You will not be bawling your eyes out, and you may not be putting quotes from Mario Mario as your yearbook quote. But if you wanted a movie that shows Mario doing what Mario does best, a movie with all of the love and quality of the long-running series and brings it to the big screen, and a movie that makes you feel warm and fuzzy and gives validation and celebration to your lifetime with the Italian plumber, this is a movie that is more than worth your time. Stop listening to critics. Stop listening to social media. Even stop listening to me at this point. Shut up and go see the Mario movie. Because I promise you will find something to enjoy.